everyone has a bucket list of places to visit, and Paris usually appears in most of the lists. Well, do you know what's the famous thing of Paris? Obviously, everyone knows it. It's the Eiffel Tower. So today, I'm going to share the most amazing information about the Eiffel Tower, and believe me, you will love this video. Let's get started. We all have heard a lot about the height of Eiffel Tower, which is 330 meters to its tip, or its number of steps, which is 1,710. We have read a lot about its history, that the tower was constructed in 1889 by Gustav Eiffel. He designed and constructed the Eiffel Tower for the 1889 Exposition Universelle, which commemorated the French Revolution's centennial. We have probably heard that it took two years, two months, and five days to construct Eiffel Tower, and the construction was a really specialized and building accomplishment. No doubt people are still in awe of the tower. However, one of the questions never been asked about the Eiffel Tower is that how heavy the tower is. After all, everything on Earth has a mass, and therefore has a measurable weight. To calculate the total weight of the Eiffel Tower, you have to take into account to first weigh the metal structure, then to measure the weight of its five elevators, and finally consider the weight of various installations on the platforms. About the weight of metal structure, the first thing you should know is that the tower structure is made of 18,000 metallic pieces. These pieces were made in Eiffel's factory, on the outskirts of Paris. Each of the 18,000 pieces used to build the tower was calculated specifically for the project and prepared. The wrought iron structure has four enormous arched legs that are supported by masonry piers that curve inward until they join to form a single, tapered tower. This enormous metal structure has a mass of 7,300 tons, or 7.3 million kilograms, which is about the weight of 40.747s. But that's not it. On the Eiffel Tower, 2.5 million rivets hold together those 18,000 metallic pieces. Yes, you heard it right. 2.5 million rivets, with an average weight of 285 grams per rivet. We are now looking at the weight of two more additional Boeing 747s. About the elevators of the Eiffel Tower, you need to know that two of the five elevators are made by Otis, and three others by different manufacturers. The weight of each Otis elevator is around 65 tons, which includes the huge 20 tons hydraulic cylinder. Such huge cylinder needs supporting items like beams, various cables, supply containers, and other items necessary for each elevator. The total weight of such items will be around 40 tons, which makes the total weight of the Otis elevator around 250 tons. That's one heck of a heavy elevator. Don't forget that the other three elevators are not that lighter. The total weight of the other three elevators and their supporting items is around 600 tons. So, when we're talking about the weight of all five elevators currently active in the Eiffel Tower, we are looking at around 1 million kilograms, or 1,000 tons, which is the weight of three more Boeing 747s. Finally, after the metal structure and all elevators, it is time to estimate the weight of various remaining installations on the platform. Well, nothing looks good if it's not painted, right? For Eiffel Tower, Burkers used 60 tons of paint to paint every square inch of the tower to shield it from the elements. Since then, the tower has been repainted 18 times. Wow, that's amazing, right? But it is not yet finished. On the third floor, the floor, the exterior partitions, and the shops are counted for a weight of 33 tons. The intermediate floor, which is not used today, weighs 2,600 kilograms. The second floor is much more. There are 225 tons of guardrails, floors, mats, galleries, shelters, and various shops. Now, what about the tower lights? The tower illumination is caused by 20,000 bulbs that are put in small transculent protective boxes and are connected together with 40 kilometers of cables. The two connectors and two fasteners of each bulb count for a total of 80,000 additional metal parts or 60 tons more. Now, I think we have covered all the major heavy items installed on the tower. Summing up the weight of the metal structure, its five elevators, and all the various installations on the platforms, we're looking at the staggering weight of Eiffel Tower to be more than 10 million kilograms, or 22 million pounds, which is as heavy as 55 Boeing 747s. Whew. So, with this, we reached the end of the video, and I'm sure you guys loved this video. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below and share with me the most interesting information you guys have had about the Eiffel Tower.